welcome to Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast. This is an actual play Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Royalty free music provided by Kevin McLeod, Michael Gelfi Studios, Plate Mill Games, and Tabletop Audio. And now, to adventure. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Buckner. I'm the primary dungeon master for Knights of Roleplay and Adventuring Podcast. This is uh, part two of Sarah's Candle Keep uh, Mysteries Adventure, which is that Sarah of Yellow. What was it? Yellow Crest Manor. Yellow Crest Manor. That's right. So this is part two, and I will turn it over to Sarah. So the last time we left off our <laughs> fabulous party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They had taken respite at the inn, and they had um, introduced themselves to a few town folk, including the beautiful innkeeper who had a wonderful conversation with them about the people disappearing around town, including his son, who had not returned for a long time, and how much he hates this dude that they're looking for. So, you guys wake up in the morning. It's a pretty typical morning. Not too sunny, not too dark. Not too Pretty dark. average. This is uh, uh, Lord Vialis. Vialis the... is the man he hates. Right, right. The innkeeper. Oh, gotcha. Which you're going to make me uh, remember his name. Old Fargo, this is right? not a touch screen. The old Fargo, right? Uh, no, this is not it's a touch not. Screen. I've done that, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's old Fargo old and young Fargo. Fargo. Our yeah. old Fargo, yeah. whose uh, son young Fargo is, is missing... Um, you wake up at his place, the Bulging Cauldron, and uh, you need to decide what you want to do for the day. When you come downstairs, the place is bustling. Okay. Townsfolk are about in the streets, and town seems to be as a t- normal town would. It's our plan to go to the tower, correct? Uh, the we tower! Were, we were going yes. to check out um, Feral's the house first. Yeah, we so we yeah, checked yeah, we out, check out that feral house, house, house but then... Um, I thought we already did that. No, no. Um, old Fargo, when we were talking with him, recommended that we should check out Farrell's no, house. Too, no, no, no. What, 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 we, what I looked into was the um, uh, the house that uh, Lord Cialis was supposedly staying in. It turns out he's not. Gotcha. Lord Vialis. Gotcha, gotcha. Vialis, yes. <laughs> Cialis is a horse of a different color. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a horse. Well, uh, not yeah. everyone's hung like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're going to check out that, that guy's house first, mm-hmm. apparently. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So so exit the inn! You exit the inn. And I think I had given you guys we, a we map out the of inn. the town. But I don't uh, know where it went. Uh, yeah, hang on. I think I have one of them. <laughs> <laughs> But as you exit the bulging cauldron, <laughs> as I said, the streets are kind of bustly, um, and you head down the road, heading over to <coughs> Farrell's house. Nothing of real consequence happens. As I said, you're just kind of strolling by different people of the town, and you walk up to Lord Farrell's house without any problems. Ooh, okay, well, check out the windows. Okay. So it, it's a comfortable looking cottages. Cottage. <laughs> <laughs> how, um, many he got, how many cottages does he have in there? Well, it's a cottage and there you, you do see on the property that there's also a barn off in the distance. Um, from the windows you can see that there's also like a an office in the living room. There seems to be a lot of business records and correspondence laying around. This place definitely looks like it's been used unlike the other house that you checked out. The one that Lord Vialis is supposedly staying at. Keep an eye out. I jimmy the lock. You jimmy the lock? (laughs) Okay. Are you staying Um, visible or invisible? Well, you guys are watch- supposed to be watching out for me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Can you jimmy the lock and lock the door? <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> do you want me to smash the lock? <laughs> no, no, no. We don't want to... No? We don't want to leave an uh, impression that we were here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. 
Well, we also yeah. don't want. Well, you know, I could do it, Christian. Watching us uh, yes. <laughs> do right. this. And they're great. Right. I don't so like it. In, in, not that kind of invisible, mm-hmm. invisible fairy, since he can do it at will. I can't do it at will. Oh, you so, can't. It's it's, oh. Just, it's like a once per day okay, type thing, right. plus the spell. Yeah. Okay. It costs spell slots. Too. Okay. You you go ahead and uh, roll to unlock. Oh, okay. Uh, 15 plus dex, 15, 16, 18, plus proficiency, 19, 21. Okay, so the lock pops open, no problem at all. Um, you walk in again, you find lots of business information lying about. Um, Feral is nowhere in sight, um, as you know from your asking around in Waterdeep. We're expecting um, him in what, two days now? He, he's, he's clearly out of town. Mm-hmm. So, so there's no food that stuffs or any Assuming, yeah. plates or it dishes. It doesn't seem like anybody has been in the main house anytime recently. And very shortly, he's going to be out of gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so do you just want to like take a look around? You, there's lots of windows around. It's a pretty normal house, pretty standard. Mm. Um, investigation of the papers on in the office. Okay. okay. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Twenty-five. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-five is great. Um, the papers indicate that he's clearly um, running a pretty straightforward business for Lord Vialis. N- nothing seems out of the ordinary to you. It's all standard business records and correspondence to do with the businesses in the other town. Boring stuff. Okay. Yes. Very boring stuff. Anything hidden elsewhere? I don't have to be the only one looking. Yeah. Well, we're on. We're watching. Oh, am I the only one? We're on the, we're on the lookout. So yeah. Okay. You the other one if you want you someone, to, if you want no, we're your just, we're just outside. your caster okay. friend to come in and help you investigate, and I, she can, but you didn't ask, so she was letting you do your thing. Okay. Well, I, I, I go out. If I don't want to leave everybody out there. Yeah. All right. Because right. so. <laughs> Huh? I'm not smart enough. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can shout if somebody's All coming. Right. <laughs> so shall we look for hidden compartments, other rooms? That's always fun to look for. It's just yeah. a cottage, though, but hey, you never know. Uh, do you want Let's to... Let's perceptify the room! Okay. You go ahead and perceptify the room. Uh, right. Separately, I'll, or do you want me I'll to... help you. Oh, you'll help me? Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming yours is higher than mine. Well, there's another 20. Look at that. Uh, 26. Okay, 26. Awesome. So you guys are... You're looking around the room. You're feeling around and all the walls and stomping the floorboards and checking everything, trying to find anything that might be like a trap door or moving wall. And as you're walking by one of the back windows, you notice something shiny. Shiny! Flick by a window in the back barn. Flick by the window in in, one, in the barn? In the barn. In the barn. Okay, so we're looking out the window at the barn, I see something in and the window And you see the something moving in the barn. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Let's head outside and see what's there. Yeah, I think we found everything we're going to find here. Okay. Check out the barn. Check out the door. There's something in the barn. Check it out. Something in the barn? Yeah. Surround the barn. Smash the barn. Got it. What did you see? (laughs) Shiny. Something something shiny. Couldn't tell if it was a person or just a flash of metal. We don't know if it's a person, an object. I just saw a flash of light. Yeah. Whatever it is, surround the barn. You, You guys go in from the back. We'll go in from the front. Okay. And meet in the middle. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good? Sounds, sounds good. good. All right, so you guys are going to sneak up on the barn, and two from the back, and, well, who's going from the back, who's going from the front? I guess. Uh, uh, Rage is going to the back. Rage, Rage, is, Rage likes the back door, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Small men like the back door. I'm, I guess. I'm also going to the back. <laughs> Sandra will probably go from the front with a, an eye to investigating, Finn, just in case there's the... like a trap or a tripwire or from something. The side. <laughs> there's no side door. Oh. The barn's a pretty standard, um, you know. Then I guess. It's barn standard. It, it's pretty standard barn <laughs> where there's like you know you can go through the middle of it. There's a middle aisle. Well, I guess mm-hmm. I'm hitting the but back there's, too. There's no side door. <laughs> okay, I guess it's two of us on the front. front uh, yeah, like I said. 
that investigate for tripwires traps just in case okay. that was the metal that we saw. Uh, investigate. Cinder's investigate which, which? is plus seven. Her perception yeah. is plus zero. The one that I was going to let you use? The Wookiee battle mats. <laughs> uh, I did bring them. Did but, you bring them out? Uh, Greg. Hmm? Um, Look behind around the corner there. I think I put the battle mat over there somewhere. I think it's enough gummies. My nose is starting. It's a, it's a big square book. <laughs> yes, correct. So you, you've had so many gummies that it's just. This is a Loki <laughs> battle mat like book from nose. the town in Taverns book. <laughs> town and Tavern set. Shiny one that was Barney. Is it itching or no? There, there was one that you like liked. I don't know where it was, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Diabetes. <laughs> My name's Wolford Brimley. I feel like it was closer diabetes. towards the front, maybe? It was too. Sorry, hold please. Your call is important okay. to us. <laughs> please stay on the line. And someone will be with you shortly. This coming from your ever prepared dungeon master. The youngster, <laughs> sir. Question <Okay>. mark. <laughs> It's hard to be prepared when you don't know what we're going to do anyway. <laughs> From your lot, yes, that's kind of appropriate. Um, let's use this one and just pretend it's not, you know, tiles. It's actually your barn. It's dirt. Okay. All right. So. So. You're saying there's so. going to be a battle. So, <laughs> Give me so we'll call this the front. It's the front. Like, this the front. is the front. Okay. Here. Okay. Back. Door. Oh, no. oh. And let's actually fold that over and make it shorter. Okay. Just this one? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And so that end is the back. back so those door. stairs are like going up to the eaves where they would be keeping the hay. Lost. Yep. And those are like horse stalls. You use your cool. imagination. Is, yeah, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> if you can, thank you. Very cool. There's a lot more color. Just like your guy, but. Okay. Yes. <laughs> And I am flighty over there. Okay. You're so great. Okay. Picture lady. Oh, that's me. That's you now. <laughs> picture lady's running things. <laughs> Chris is now the picture lady. So, <laughs> as you approach the barn, you do notice that there are... Four people keeping an eye out around in here. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to tell them all part, but <laughs> all right. With letter markers. Mm -hmm. That's grunt A, grunt B, grunt C, and grunt D. <laughs> are they just here? Oh, hey, it was the cultists from Points of <laughs> <laughs> Those are cultists of Orcas, yes. <laughs> just kind of powered like 30 of those minis for a previous campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they're all sitting next to me right now. <laughs> and I just dropped, I just dropped the D. Uh. <laughs> oh. Well. Wow. Hold, please. I gotta pick the D off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I get that all the time. <laughs> Do you, though? <laughs> all right. All right, can you mark the two in the back, A and B, for me? Sorry, the table's very wide with an extra player. <laughs> and can you see this back edge over your screen, sir? I can. Okay. And apparently I'm the right. go-to dude tonight. I'm the gopher. You're so very handy. the two towards the front, you notice, um, look pretty bulky and and uh, like like they're pretty experienced in fighting. I'll give you this in case you need the blood. Um, the two in the back look a little more like like uh, cult fanatics to you. Mm. Cool. So since you're sneaking in, like, they, like they haven't noticed hoodie. you yet. Yeah, they're kind of wearing robes and hoods, but they definitely look like they're ready for a battle. Oh, boy. I just want to listen for a minute. Listen to the conversation. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth check. One stealth check. All of us? Yes. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big trouble. <laughs> In little, little China. China. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 18. Nice. Not bad. Ooh, 18. 
Nice, Gerg. 17. Oh, actually, nice. do we have our... Oh, I'm rolling, nice. a dis- I'm rolling a disadvantage. Have you got loud armor? Yeah. It's that back bite, isn't it? 22. 22. Dang. So you did. Okay. Man, if it's a group check, we can help. 18, 22, 17. 14. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. All right. It, but you were with the yeah, group back. of three? Okay. Yep. So the fact that these two are trying so hard to keep you quiet <laughs> will save your ass. Whiff, since you're trying to overhear what they're talking about, go ahead and give me a... Perception? perception? Yeah, give me a perception check. Uh, are you using passive? If they roll lower than passive. If passes. you roll lower, yeah. Okay, then 16. Okay. Yeah, with. So with a 16, you do hear them casually talking about how, um, ugh, you know, I hate just being on the lookout while the ward's away. You know, I'm so dedicated to the cause, I don't know why I get stuck on duty watching the stupid house. Just want to be up at the tower praising the wards. This is so boring. <laughs> I run in. Ooh, what cause? Roll for initiative. Jesus. Why you sounded what, interesting? Now you're in charge. That, sound, that sounds interesting. A cause. What are you gonna? What, what's your cause? I gotta know what this is about. <laughs> well, that works well. I think I have advantage. Oh, man. I, I tanked out. <laughs> they have advantage on this. Uh, <laughs> I had a fantastical roll. Mm. <laughs> For my That's first. I did not. For my first of the campaign. This dice doesn't like me. Yes, feral instinct. I have advantage on initiative rolls. Wow. <laughs> big deal. Hey, cool. <laughs> I can't wait to see rage in action. <laughs> 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 did you? I, 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 I did not spike it. No. I, I'm checking the waveform. <laughs> you guys are so weird. I love it. So nervous. <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, I'm the DM stress. I'm not nervous about anything. <laughs> Ever. If you're Ever. TPKS, I'll be so excited. <laughs> so proud of you, Sarah. You killed us all. Zero. Days since TPK. Zero. I, I don't think I've ever been in a party that was TPK, but I've, I've TPK at a party. Yes, you have. <laughs> during, during the playtest with the beholder. I don't think I've ever been at a party so, that was TPK. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. You TPK us with like a white dragon during one of the Innistrad playtests, too. Well, at least they're during playtests. Yeah, yeah. At least some TPK play people during playtests. I didn't die in that particular campaign. <laughs> it was just in one of like the practice sessions before. Yeah. I, I only scripted TPK at the party. Dexterity modifier. So they didn't really die. So they just went to hell. Okay. So silver <gasps> rage with. But only at the first level. I'm a nice guy. Raina's raven mask that you wrote into the campaign based on the mini, which was awesome. <laughs> what is yours, Nye? What your characters? I, t- I totally just put rock. N Y L dash R O K. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Finn. Seven. Okay. <laughs> seven. Wow. <laughs> Sad face seven. <laughs> Oh, it gets better. <laughs> Mine's not much better. Syndra? Four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New Rock? Twenty. Nice. Whiff? Nine. <laughs> you whiffed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did better than me, so. And, and Rage? Twenty. What's your modifier? Plus two. What's, What's your, modifier? your modifier, New Rock? Plus two. Uh, you roll it on. <laughs> roll these. Natural 20. 19. Oh, oh. so close. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. 
think by raw we would normally get to choose, but roll off. Rolling off is fun. Rolling off is better, John. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> know we must it's play spicy. by the rules. <laughs> what? I thought the rules were to roll the rules off. Are the rules and the rules make uh, sure the rules give like a couple good. different options. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my choice is to roll off, and I'm the DM. So that's right. <laughs> DM's not playing by so the put rules. Your, put that in your pipe and smoke it. The DM's playing by the DM's rules. The DM's stressed. <laughs> the DM is stressed. You know why? Because John's in her party. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to every DM when John's at the party. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, crap. We got John. Oh, no. <laughs> John. Alrighty. So, here's our initiative order. You might say that's a fine initiative order. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Rage at the top. So our initiative order is going to be Rage, Neil Rock, Cult Fanatics, Veterans. With Finn and Syndra. <laughs> She's rolling like Janie. She is rolling like Janie. <laughs> I, I blame it on the chair, but you're not sitting in Janie's chair. <laughs> oh, okay. Love this track. That was a great me. track. I keep saying that. You Janie. are sitting in Janie's <laughs> chair. You didn't roll well either. But. Yeah. So top of the round, Rage, you are first to go. Rage, Rage against the dying of the okay. hammer. First thing I'm going to do is spend a bonus action to Rage! <laughs> oh my god. Why would you do that? <laughs> I feel like that's going to be a, a common thing during the combat. So again, the ones in the, the one, C and D are veterans and mm-hmm. A and B are cult fanatics. Are books. Okay. 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 So, um, so the guys in the front seem like they're the, the more the fighter types. You said yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. They seem more beefy to you. Okay. Based on Rage's personality, he would uh, he would want to go after them. So <laughs> he here, do do? is he's gonna he, he's gonna go running by one of those mooks, <laughs> giving an opportunity attack. So, okay. I, so as I leave this, as I leave this square. So as you leave that square, one of those cult fanatics gets an opportunity attack. Correct. He is going to hit you or attempt to hit you with a dagger. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Attacks my AC. Or a barbarian the okay. uh, Miss. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I should not be looking at your character sheet. I need to, <laughs> stop, I need to not be reading over people's shoulder. <laughs> Stop reading over his shoulder. So I scream out, In the name of my ancestors, I will smash you! (laughs) And then I I attack recklessly. Okay. (laughs) Because if I don't, I attack with disadvantage. Because my weapon is too big (laughs) for my size. (laughs) (laughs) I had so much fun making that mini to fit that description. (laughs) Yeah, with the giant hammer on it. (laughs) We we, we used Hero Forge with these minis. Uh, Okay, so uh, my maul... Uh, 2d6, I need some sixes. I feel like your your hammer is bigger than my character. <laughs> and I'm a Goliath. So. <laughs> Alright, regular attack. Oh, natural Ooh. one! Oh. Oh, you go to swing your hammer and you <laughs> almost hit yourself in the toe. <laughs> As the guy just what? Looks at you confused and picks up his foot, steps out of the way. Yeah, I basically drag the hammer all the way across the floor. Yeah, <laughs> leave it up yeah. and back down. Yep. So I get uh, I get uh, extra attack. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to heave it back up again. <laughs> uh, AC fifteen. AC fifteen misses. Okay. He looks at you again and goes, "What are you doing, little man?" <laughs> Okay, uh, so that is my rage. That is my extra attack. Uh, bonus action. I think I'm good. Okay. That is rage. Neil Rock, you're up. All right. Save the wall. Hopefully that came through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have any song prepared, but I'm going to cast Bane on all four of them. Okay, remind me what Bane does. Uh, Bane... Uh, it's a horrible... It's, uh, 
Minus 1d4 to attacks and saving throws. I'd have to make a save against your spell, though. Could be smoking crack, but I'm pretty sure you have to yeah, make a saving throw. I think you're right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you could be smoking crack too. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. But. They must make a charisma saving throw. Charisma. charisma. <laughs> All right. They must beat a 14. Or tie a 14. <laughs> huh? I didn't put that in here. Slacker. Oh, there it is. Charisma. Damn it. I have it there. <laughs> Just didn't see it. Is this a charm or a frighten effect? <laughs> Keep looking. I think it's a curse. I think it is too. I'm just double checking. Oh. What the? Sorry. Okay, so for the two cult fanatics, the first one rolls a 17, so that's A. Okay, so... Does that pass or fail? Uh, pass. That passes. And the second one rolls a 5, so he fails. Okay. So B is Bane? Bane. B's Bane. B's Bane. <laughs> Appropriate. And you said that that's... Minus 1d4 to attack rolls and saving throws. Minus 1d4. And I cast that. I cast that at level two. Perfect. And then, so you said you're gonna hit all four of them with that. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So then I'll roll for both of the veterans who are not as charismatic. Don't know why that was there. <laughs> and you should pick eighty songs, Brian. <laughs> I, you know, I like pour some sugar on me, but make it somehow with the Bane spell. I was, I've been thinking about that for a month, to be honest with you. And it just... <laughs> Nothing's clicking? Nothing's yeah. clicking. <laughs> it's all good. It's probably like a whole huge amount of work to come up with modified song requests. It can be. <laughs> you know, you Brittany know. wasn't easy. No. <laughs> Britannia. Um, so Britannia. Britannia wasn't easy. So that's an 11 and an 8. So they both fail as well. Yeah. Nice. So what did Bane do? To, do to Minus Bane 1d4 to attack it rolls and really saving throws. It really hard to get okay. your stuff that's to awesome. work. Yeah, because mm-hmm. when we were fighting each other before, <laughs> All right. Bane was So three out of four of them are now inflicted with Bane. And nice. That, and that lasts for a minute. Okay, so... Is it concentration? I've got the fight. Yeah, yeah. And it's concentration. Concentration for one minute. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Is that your turn? Uh, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to give Rage some bard- a Bardic Inspiration die. Bardic Inspiration. So you get 1d8 to your next ability check, attack, or saving throw. Well, I can choose to spend it right when I, when I want. Or yes. it, yeah. Okay. 1d8. Okay. So our bard has baned three of our guys and given our tiny man with the hammer bardic inspiration. Do you say anything in particular to me to try to inspire me? No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh. (laughs) The most quiet bard ever. (laughs) Yeah. He has a Goliath, so... I'm not not on my game tonight. He just kind of growls. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. Rage will respond to that. (laughs) Cool. All right. You've got this, little one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar riff. <laughs> All right. Our cult fanatics are coming up next. <laughs> bagpipe riff. <laughs> you should have been a bar with an electric guitar. <laughs> electric bagpipes? I made one, yeah, on, I made, I made one on Hero Forge one time. Electric bagpipes. I think that exists. <laughs> oh, boy. There's an ele- electric harmonica. Or, no, electric uh, kazoo. Kazoo. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would be a... So... <laughs> That'd be a great bard. <laughs> um, totally Colt Fanatic A awesome. is going to come up behind um, Rage and Flank. Okay. Yep. And he is going to pull out some dagger attacks. Right, right. He does have multi-attack, and he is not Bane. Okay. Yeah, for Rage. So... <laughs> 
with advantage. That's going to be AC 23. That hits. Uh, da, da, da. Sorry, I forgot to check what the actual damage dice was. <laughs> That's all good. And that'll be four piercing damage. Four reduced to two. Okay. Because of raging. Right. And then, ooh, lucky that was advantage, because that's a natural one. <laughs> 20 to hit. That hits. For three piercing damage. Three, but really one. Got but it. really one. And... My ancestors laugh at you! Ha-ha! <laughs> Puny little man. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the other guy, other guy, Mr. B there, who <laughs> is Baned, he will cast. Do we have our condition rings? Or at least something that we can throw on the three who are just to have a visual. Uh, I have it written down. I know you got it written down. I'm just looking to see. No, I mean, it, hel- it helps yeah. for us too because we can okay. forget. Yeah. Um, what can I do with those? <laughs> I thought they were in a Ziploc up on the top, but know, everything yeah, has yeah. shuffled a lot. It might be back behind the screen. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know They're if Bane was technically one of them. I didn't print out all the possible conditions. Oh, it, it doesn't even have to be the right word. It's just having a ring on the three or on the one who isn't will help us to keep track. Yeah, we, lo- we, we like it, so we're going to put a ring on it. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I vomit. <laughs> I'm sure there was a blessed one in here. I can't even read what those say. Oh, they're cool. Those are neat. Two-color print, too. It's challenging. That was one of my first attempts at multicolor printing. I just realized they even used the same color blue with them. Holy crap, I'm so bad at this. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Oh my god. Hermagurt. They look like they won a contest. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it was a contest they wanted to win. <laughs> they, won a con- they won a contest of being sucky. <laughs> Okay, so B is going to move towards Finn. Get right up next to Finn. Finn. Thank you. (laughs) Greg's moving the mini. Conveniently away from his mini. (laughs) (laughs) Like right here? Well, right right in front of him. Yeah, right there. He's good. And his physique. And he is going to cast Inflict Wounds. Ooh. Ooh. I haven't seen that one. That's not fun. No, that's pretty good. Probably some kind of a saving throw for you, Greg. So that's going to be... Why does it tell me what the saving throw is? Oh. Melee spell attack. That's a roll to hit. Yep. No, did you make a regular... Make, a, make an attack roll using his spell... Attack bonus as your two hit. Oh, okay. And yes. try to beat his AC. Yep. Okay. So. Because he's trying to touch you with the spell. Oh. All right. So he reaches out his hand and attempts to cast. Bad touch. Bad inflict touch. wounds. Mm-hmm. So it is an attack. So I have to roll the one d four. That should just be renamed bad touch. It's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural one. <laughs> so he. He attempts to touch you, but apparently his eyesight's really bad, and he just touches the air. And he's a nin- like a ninja. A karate, so. he's, like, he's like, what the? He where did you it away? Where'd you go? <laughs> I, f- I batted his hand. And he away. starts just looking around, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that will be <laughs> the cult fanatic's turn. <laughs> Betchins. And now it's time for the veterans. So, uh, so was his was his actual attack negative? Just curious. 
Yes. Well, it was a natural one. Well, yeah, but minus one. Minus, <laughs> minus, minus, minus what the D4 was. It was a negative one, because there were yes. only two on the four. <laughs> if you need to know. I did. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Get those barn feels. Oh, we love us. <laughs> Okay, so the first veteran, C, is that C? This C. Yes, that's oh, C. Okay, so C, C, C is going to come on up to this little short guy that tried to hit his buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Rage. And he is going to take a swing at Rage with his long sword. Uh, he has advantage on it because I attacked recklessly. Okay. But minus four for the bane, Minus four for the bane. For the bane, yeah. For the bane. Bane. yeah. He rolls a four and a two. Oh no! <laughs> With a negative three. <laughs> so I'm thinking that misses. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> My ancestor protect me. But he does have multi attack. Okay. So he's gonna swing at you again. Free hugs. <laughs> Take the pain and replace the B with a P. You have pain. It isn't Thanks, much better because you rolled a six and a six. So that would be a three. <laughs> my ancestors laugh at you! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was clever. Hey. All right. So he is totally off kilter. These guys are apparently really out of uh, service because apparently that's why they're guarding a barn. Uh, <laughs> So, letter D is going to also take a swing at Rage, because he's right there. Okay. Can't give him double advantage, but... Nope. <laughs> All right. First one is going to be AC 8. Miss. Oh, I'm not adding their attack. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead and add it. So 13. Miss. Still miss. <laughs> My god. Were you, were you adding the attacks for the other one? No. no. <laughs> they would have still yeah, missed. Yeah, we were pretty low. <laughs> Alright, and an AC... 15. Is that with the bane? Yes. That just hits. That just hits. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> so... That's why I asked for the bang, just in case it was like a one or something. <laughs> why does it say? It's oh, because it's a, it's a. This is the reverse unga bunga music. It's it's one that has you can use with two hands. Yeah, so it's a different. Yep. Yep. Okay. Is he wielding it with two so hands? So that'll take... No, he's not. It, okay. it's six slashing... Oh, no, six, seven, eight. Nine slashing damage. Nine reduced to four. Got it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that will be their turn. So... Whiff, you're up. The genius who started this fight. <laughs> you guys need to calm down a little bit. Okay, I'm up there. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. And I cast color spray. Ooh. Okay. I just put my hands together and I go and, and throw them out like this and Sounds, sparkles just, just like the go most flying out and just splitter bomb. It's the most like soundtrack most ever. I know. John sounding spell ever. <laughs> sparkles everywhere. C and D. Um, make a. Oh wait, no. Spell? There's there is no there is no saving for it, it is the Jubilee one. spell, honey. I roll s- I love you for making that reference. <laughs> I, I roll it. 60 10. One, two. Jubilee gets no respect, man. I know. Three, <laughs> She's actually pretty great. Four, five. I remember her being in the X-Men game in the arcades. <laughs> there's no save for that? There is no save. The way uh, color spray works is I roll 60 10 okay. and add them up, and that's how many hit points of Creatures and effects. So I'll get to you in a second. So I roll this, and I get a total Chaos of eight, apparently eight, eight, eleven. Surprised. No, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, uh, twenty-seven, thirty-four. Okay, I rolled thirty-four hit points worth of uh, spell. What you do is you start starting with the person that has that's affected that has the most hit points. Okay. Um, if they have less than that 34 hit points, 
they are affected, and you subtract however many hit points they had from that 34, and the remainder moves on to the next person with the next highest hit points. Okay. <laughs> so they... All right. Well, they both took more than that, so oh, okay. I guess I oh, just right. pick one. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. This how tall many creatures it can affect. Creatures in a 15-foot cone originating from you are affected in a, oh, ascending, not descending order, of their current hit points. Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by this spell is blinded until the end of the next turn. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creatures with the next lowest hit points. A creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total for the creature to be affected. So if so, it doesn't take effect if they. So if they are, if if no creatures have less, less than, than thirty four hit points, okay, then no creatures are affected. Okay, they're just so suddenly they surprised. look at all this sparkle array in front of them and go, <laughs> "Who the fuck brought the thing?" <laughs> 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 Very appropriate. <laughs> Did you say very appropriate? <laughs> yeah, these guys are tougher than I thought. They're tougher, veterans. They're tougher than our usual guys. <laughs> All right. Well, unfortunately, that was a spell cast, so I don't have much else to do. Okay. Well, you know, if you do, you do. Just let me know. Is that the end of your turn? I think that's the end of my turn. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a useful bonus action. Okay, right so Whiff just made it really nice and sparkly and colorful. What's your... Whiff, Whiff. What, what's, what you gonna do, Finn? I'm gonna Kung Fui. Kung Fui! Fui. Alright, so... Well, at least we all know they have, they have at least 34 hit points. And I've learned a valuable lesson that don't cast those hit point re- type spells until... Yeah, late, late combat there. Yeah, Nobody's yeah. hit. That anybody. seems obvious to me, John. <laughs> uh, you're just dumb. I'm just learning these things. I'm just doing pretty <laughs> dumb, man. I'm just a stupid little bear. What do I do? It wasn't my first choice anyway, but then I squirreled it. I was All right, so... so... 11 to hit. Um, And you're swinging at the guy in front of you? Yes. Me, me. Uh, that will miss. Okay. So, my second attack. Let me get a dice that wants to play tonight. <laughs> Mine haven't been cooperating either, so. Everybody's just missing each other. <laughs> this is the boringest fight ever. <laughs> Except for that color explosion. That's AC worse. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just trying to, you know, lighten things up. Five is obviously not going to work. Th- that, that will miss. All right, I'm going to spend a <laughs> <good> point. <laughs> so Fabulous! So I can attack another one. So you took two attacks, right? Yeah. And yep. now you're spending a key point to take two more. Yes. Gotcha. Flurry of blows. Here yeah. comes a flurry of blows from our monk. <laughs> Finn monk. All right, so... What is that? That's a nine plus nine, nine plus three. Oh, is that is that is, is, no, there, no, no. is there liquid spinning around that die? Yeah, yeah, that's it one of the liquid die. Interesting. Uh, oh, plus four. Strike plus seven. Plus, oh shoot, I've I've screwed myself. <laughs> well, <what> was <laughs> Sarah attack? was doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> what was your attack? Um, We're just swinging it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, okay. Um, but anyway, so this one is nine plus seven. So that, 16. 16, 16, 16, hit, yeah. 16 will hit. All right. Nice. So that is going you to be for 10. Max damage, buddy. For 10 too. on B? Um, yes. 10 on B. Nice. Uh, and you get another one. <laughs> yes. Flurry of bros. Pop, pop. <laughs> <laughs> Flurry of bros. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Ooh. You see higher? Uh, if it's higher, it hits. Yeah. Uh, oh. for, for five. Uno. It's still something? Five. For what? Five? Five, five is yeah. something. Five's good. Give yourself credit, man. I like to be damaged, dude. That green dice is rolling pretty decent for <laughs> you. You never know, that guy might be able to be affected by color spray. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> All right, so B takes a couple of punches. Ooh, 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 <laughs> that felt bad. <laughs> I really hate burn duty, no. <laughs> Is he high is as well? Turn? That is my turn. 
So the monk is the multiple attack guy, Greg, not so much the damage guy. No. <laughs> I did get four attacks, though. So that you did get four attacks. Four yes. attacks add up. That's the thing. Yes, yeah. No one hit hits a lot, but that, on four average, you're going to average Four attacks at five apiece is still 20 damage. But I will say that this, <laughs> this is not a barbarian, yeah. so, so yeah. we know how used I am to barbarians. That's true. Yes. <laughs> Greg is used to big All right, numbers. Syndra, you're up. All right, so she kind of like, let's see, steps sideways oh, there. And this kind of maniacal grin comes across her face, and she says, I think you're not taking us as seriously as you should. And she swings out a hand, and a mode of fire goes right into the exact center of the barn. A moat? Uh, a moat of fire, which then explodes into a fireball, which I believe it's a 20-foot radius, so it goes fully end-to-end end in the barn. And I... there's a slow-mo matrix can that we could scan around and see how the fire mysteriously misses all of you. Hmm. I thought we learned our lesson <laughs> in the other game about lighting fires in barns. She does, her other she good area effect is, is thunder, so it would make noise that everybody in the well, town could hear. Well, keep this in mind. So. It does not belong to her, so she burns it down. Who cares? <laughs> That's both. So light it up so they get to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, it's not like it's a boat. Okay, mm. so all four of them are getting all affected? All four of them. Okay. Yeah. And everybody makes a dex save. And I thought I was lighting up the place. So <laughs> let me She's match them up with their appropriate She's kind of... <laughs> Remember she got kicked out of the elf magic school because she was a little yeah, too erratic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rachel, yeah. this is awesome. He's fighting with all the giant fire explosion. <laughs> <around. Yeah. laughs> fire, the little magical Pyrotechnic. orb all around right, each of so that you guys allies. are aware I'm matching up the D20s with yeah. their matching D4s so that I can take the banes off of the ones that need to get taken. Cool, cool. Okay. So the one that doesn't have a matching D4 is the one that doesn't have banes. All right. So, A, which is not affected. This is Dex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rolls a natural one. Ooh. Fail. Fail. (laughs) A fail. Well, it doesn't matter what his bonus is, he's not going to get above it. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, it would have only been a three anyway. Yeah. You go with you. This one is eight plus three minus one. Ten. Guessing that's a fail. Yes. Yeah, yeah, her yeah. Her save's higher than that. And then so veteran C is Dex is a fourteen. Uh fail. And veteran D is lower. Fail. Alright, so All they right. all fail. 86? Oh, they're crispy. 86? 8d6. Eight eh? Eh, kind of all over the board. There's two ones. Just gonna average out. Yeah. <laughs> two sixes, so. That's 12. Actually, almost perfect average. It's two. Six. And nothing wrong. Ten. Let's do this the right way. Ten. So, 10, 20, 26 fire damage. Okay. All right, B burns up. B burns. A is bloody. Got it. And C and D are hit. And not bloody. But not bloody. Okay. Very lightly singed. They're singed. They've got more hit points. Oh! Little girl have fire? (laughs) What little girl gets fire from? (laughs) Not the brightest bulbs. (laughs) (laughs) See, now you use color spray, John. Hence guarding the barn. No, no. I'm 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 not doing color spray now, no. I don't like that spell anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to do something different. He's just brightening up the barn with all that color. Everybody just laughs at me when I use color spray. (laughs) Late fight, I'd be happy if a bunch of things died or got blinded. Um, Let's see here. Do you yes. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, let me double. I don't think I have bonus actions or many of them. Let me take a quick look. Nah. 
There are very few bonus action characters. Awesome. So that's the end of round one. <laughs> I'm not a very efficient round runner, I guess. That's okay. Uh, All right. So, top of round two, we are back up to rage. We are now missing one cult fanatic. And everybody else looks a little singed around the edges. Is the barn on fire, by the way? Yes, the barn is on fire. (laughs) You see the the hayloffs are ablaze, and the horses don't look so happy either. Oh. (laughs) But there is, like, really fast, like, uh, symphonic metal playing right now as Rage is attacking in his burning barn. He's loving every minute of it. (laughs) That's one one round of my Rage. So I will try to lift up this gigantic hammer again. And uh, this time I I will attack recklessly again against A. Against A? Against A. Ooh. Uh, seven. Don't forget you have you, you have a don't forget your bardic inspiration if, yes. you, if, if you, you choose to, to use it. Yeah, that was so low, but yeah, I got gotcha. you. All right, pack number two. Uh, that is uh, fourteen. That'll hit. Yay! So that will be for uh, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, because I'm raging. A, you smack him right in the middle of the kneecap, and he goes on down and bleeds out. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> bleeds out of your kneecap. <laughs> that, that, tell that one of the... hit the femoral artery. <laughs> oh. uh, then I'll you turn... watch Grey's Anatomy, don't you? <laughs> I'll turn my attention back to uh, Veteran D. You got a third attack? Oh, wait, sorry. That was two attacks. That was two You're attacks. Right. <laughs> Um, I mean, I mean oh, that point. was a great first attack. Action yeah. Point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Action point. All right. That's heavy. All right. You don't have uh, busy points in this game. No. That is. I'm not uh, busy. That is rage. That is rage's turn. That is rage's turn. All right, Neil Rock, you're up. Okay. Run and Neil Rock on it. I was two, two rounds day. of raging. Uh, I am going to. Wait, one. We now have no cult fanatics left. I can get up to them and swing. Yeah, you get 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 up to either one. Thirty feet. Thirty feet to either one. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to the uh, left of uh, Rage. So C. Yeah. C C. C C. Whip out my war hammer. Whoa! <laughs> Your what? <laughs> <laughs> and use it one-handed as I'm wielding a shield. <laughs> 1d8. That is 21 to hit. Oh, that'll definitely hit. For 7 damage. For seven, 7, seven damage. bludgeoning. On the bomb on sea. He is bloody. And one second. You hit him in the rib cage, and you see a slow trickle of blood come out from underneath his armor. Uh, that is. That's my turn. Okay. Neil Rock has drawn first blood on the veterans. Wait. Oh, blood as opposed to fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't bloody them that's, with the fire. That's, okay. Fair, fair. <laughs> you did not get them below half of their is maximum bloody? hit points. Is it bloody? Is it bloody? <laughs> well, see, now that thing is officially correct. He is bloodied. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> that was the point of my description. I get it. I get it. I got it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so C will <sighs> These guys aren't so smart. So he's just gonna take out his long sword and swing back at you. Neorok. It's already out technically. So come. 
hit one coming at you, or it's going to be four. <laughs> There's my daughter. <laughs> so, uh, AC 14. That is a miss. Miss. Multi attack. Critical. That is a miss. Does, does that count with no. Bane? Uh, no, I don't know. Critical is a critical. Critical is a critical. Yeah, I think a critical is a critical. Critical is a critical? Yeah. Okay. So, crits on you. He gets so mad that he misses you the first time that he comes back with a woof with his long sword. That's a technical term. A woof. <laughs> a woof. A woof. A woof. I do want to check on that because it would be cool if the bank could get rid of the critical, but I don't. I don't know though. I don't. DM's gonna, but we're gonna call it that it's not at this point. Yeah, you go the DM. Okay. You do, do whatever you want. Yeah. And that is for. Um, I mean, we could take the bane off the damage. No, just just play. I, it's totally up to you, sir. How are you gonna do it? Well, it will be thirteen piercing damage. Okay, so hold on. Take it, take it. So I, I have a reaction. Oh. Oh. I also have a reaction. Uh, I'm going to use Spirit Shield on Nail Rock. Uh, if you are raging and another creature you can see within 30 feet of you takes damage, you can use your reaction to reduce the damage by 2d6. Nice. So you take wow. 11 less damage. So you would be taking, what was it, 13 two. total? It was 13, yeah. So you would take 2 damage. Wow. That's pretty wow. sweet. You, you actually see like this deal. <clears throat> you see like these ghostly gnomes in armor appear around you and, and distract that guy as he's hitting you. So this guy comes down with this thunderous swing and all of a sudden you see Rage turn around and cast this shield that protects you. <laughs> what does little guy do? <laughs> oh. Spirit shield, mother! I do have to roll for concentration, correct? That's true. Yeah. Yes. Nine plus. You need to get a ten. Plus cons, two and proficient in saving, or is it? It's not just a concentration. No, it's no, just, it's just a saving throw. So it's not. It is a saving throw. It's a saving throw. Yeah. It's just a saving throw. Okay, so. Yeah. Whatever your what, it's so a regular what? constitution. Whatever your con save is. So it's the dice roll plus your con save. Yeah. If your con save says plus three, then it's already oh, okay. got, it's already factored in. So eleven. Eleven. Yeah. So you just make it. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, and D is going to continue to focus. But if I'm proficient in the saving throw, do I add my proficiency? No, it's already purchase? factored in. It's already, it, factored. it's already factored into the number that's there. Should be. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, oh, no, I. Just... Yeah, I, I didn't do it on here. Yeah, plus two. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if, if you are proficient in Constitution Saving Throws, then yes. Yeah. All right, well, either way. So, yeah, I guess either way. Yeah. So, D is going to swing at Mr. Rage, because you're still right in front of him. Okay. And that will be... That will be a 17. Uh, that does it. Oh, there you go. Okay, four. Plus five. Two plus three is five. Five reduced Piercing. to two. Got it. And multi-attack, that will miss, because that's only a four on the die. <laughs> All right, that is their turn. <clears throat> Why this little do not die? <laughs> Whiff, you're up. Did you keep uh, hmm? Did you keep bait? Nice. Barn's burning. Let's just get out of here. Okay, I'll just move up there. <laughs> yes. Seriously? You started the fight and now you're running away? No, I'm not running away. I mean, I, I'm like... No, uh, what I mean, sorry. Oh. Uh, so I want to finish this quickly. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just going to run up like, to him. The barn's burning. Let's get out of here. Like, he's running away. That's, that's what I thought, too. <laughs> yeah. and, then he, and then he moved his mini up I, I to fight. I couldn't see, so. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, though. Just lie. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> Whiff. Uh, so. Whiff out. <laughs> Attack with advantage. We'll start fight without. Okay. <laughs> no. So I'm just going to try to rapier this guy. Wall. <laughs> try to make I'll your action less rapier. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, let's see. That is. Um, let's see. AC 20, and I'm going to drop a sneak attack on this one. Baby's trying to join in. She is. 
<laughs> so what is, uh, That's a stupid. dirty 20? Uh, no, yes, yeah, a dirty 20. Uh, plus another 46. So that's three on that one. One, two, three, four. That gives me a total of uh, 6, 12, 13, 14. Total of 18 damage. 18 on C? On C. Okay. Very bloody now. But still up, huh? Uh, he's uh, bleeding profusely from his abdominal area. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still up. He's still up. Okay, well, uh, for my bonus action then, I don't have a bonus action, so pass turn. Okay, pass turn. Finn, mm. you up. Mm. Do I have a 20 foot radius? Or... Do I have a radius? Are you talking about your cold. breath weapon? Yes. Um, Not without hitting. You could, a lot I, of I mean, you could move up, but you'd like hit everybody. Yeah. yeah. Everybody. Allies. Alright, um, we can move next to I mean, with your, your extra mobility, which I think, doesn't he have tricks to have more range to move? Uh, you definitely probably have, what's your speed, Greg? 45. 45. Yeah, you could, you could move up. You get, get into flanking here with uh, rage. With rage. Rain yeah. Down yeah, if you, if, you, if you punch from here, you'll have, you'll have uh, advantage on all of your attacks. <laughs> and a lot of attacks. Pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop bam. Alright. So, Give him that boom, boom, in case you want to know, sir, the, the internet says that Bane can't undo it. Just like okay. just like Bless can't create a critical by, okay. by making a 19 into a 20. So. Makes sense. Yeah. 13, so. 20. A Boy. dirty 20. 20. Nice. Oh, that'll hit. <laughs> uh, and that will be for 6. Uh, he takes it. Okay. You can tell that he, he's turning a little pale. From the blood loss. You get him right in one of his wounds. Oh, wow, that's a nice roll. Nice. Yeah. More. Definite hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's 22? Nice. 23 to hit. Nice. Or not higher. More than that, 25. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Easy more. <laughs> and that's going to be for 13. Oh, he's down. Oh, 10. 10, no, sorry. 10. Is it more than one? Yes. <laughs> <He's down. laughs> nice. Good job, Monk. Yeah. Veteran C goes down with a. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't have any more movement, so. Do you want to. Oh, you probably do oh, have you, more movement. Here, right? yeah. yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 40. You can move one more square. Okay. Um, you want to move in here? Okay. <laughs> Or turn around and let a horse out of the stall. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to let the horse out. Kate all of a sudden yeah. is having major Janie moment. Of, <laughs> what did I do? Can I even attack this? Guy? Well, did the horses have to make saving throws against the fireball? Um, I didn't make them the, do it. Well, um, I used my breath weapon because I, can I don't choose. have stats well, for horses. I, did attack, so I have to. Yeah. I think that's the end of my turn. I'm still considering whether I'm going to make her make sa- make saves for the horses. Okay, gotcha, oh. gotcha. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Just to teach her a lesson. Because hey. you guys always... The goblins, the goblins, Sarah, the goblins. That's not me doing that. That's the DM being a dick. I said you guys. It's not me. No, she's one of the guys. I think. I'm just doing what I think would actually happen. <laughs> she blows up a goblin. <laughs> sets a house on fire with the person inside it. <laughs> you could just say that there are ashes. You didn't have to say they're in the shape of a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier that way, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So Finn. So Finn is good. His... You realize you traumatized her, right? My kung fu Yeah. 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 Hong Kong yeah. Fui. <laughs> Kung Fu Action takes out one of the last remaining. Nice. Veterans, yeah. So you hear my Kung Fu noises when I do it. That's right. <laughs> Sound effects. Syndra, there is one veteran left on the door, on the board. Uh, on, the door. on the door. On the door. On the door. <laughs> on the door. Hold the door. You're up. All right, what does she want to do? That's the question. Drop a fireball. <laughs> 
<laughs> Incendiary <laughs> cloud. <laughs> Earthquake. Incendiary clouds like a level. Tsunami. <laughs> tsunami. Wow. Can you knock him out? I think we, I think we can hold him here for a minute while you cast Tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold him ten hey, rounds, guys. It could have worked. That's all I'm saying. Don't it put could anybody have in Border World. <laughs> wow. Uh, it would have taken out a lot of people. It the would put out the fire in the barn. Metal armor? Sure. They yeah, are. True. Okay. Or I'm saying they are. Right. <laughs> so. He's got a metal thong on or whatever that is. Ooh, is it made of metal? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. She just asked that. <laughs> Literally. A shocking grasp is codpiece. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy being an idiot to listen to her. Because they're wearing metal armor, she's going to reach out and try to shocking grasp. Shocking grasp is codpiece. I didn't say where they were wearing metal armor. I just told her yes. <laughs> so you're going to reach out and grab his chest plate. Yep. <laughs> God, peace. And shocking <laughs> grasp him? Yes. Oh, okay. Jesus. Right. That's so, hard. Is that a saving throw? Uh, no, it's just an attack roll on my okay. part, and I have advantage because he's wearing metal, dog. which That's is, mean. if it hits, it's 2D. I don't. Kill you. <laughs> You know, you know those silver balls that hang from, from tow hitches in the back of trucks? <laughs> he's, he's got those hanging on his armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> nuts for the win. Clackers. 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 Shocking balls. <laughs> Oop, Ooh. cocked. Oh, man. That's not great. I rolled terrible. A three and a four. That's what a cod piece covered. AC eleven. I'm assuming it does not hit. Eleven will miss. Wow. He goes, little lady. What are you trying to do? Oh, that's unfortunate. Out and touch. She's kind of grins awkwardly and stands there. You know I mean? um, are there like stall doors going down here? I was going to ask if, with a free flourish, I could open a stall door. Sure. Okay. She opens the stall door. That's right next to her and lets the horsey out. Or duty not looking so bad after all. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Are there enough horses for the entire party? Or about that after the fight? Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> I thought about that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, let's move on. You guys do not need horses. Come on. Well, why not? I well, I don't need an I don't need an elk, but I have one. Barn. <laughs> <laughs> he has an ox. An elk. Elk. And, and a dog. A dog. Master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rage, you're up. All right. Knock him out! No, no, knock him out. There's nothing Top else round three. We only have one dude left. I get into flanking with uh, Syndra. Uh, I don't have to attack Reckless this time. <laughs> He's still a little singy. <laughs> All right. But that's about it. You could, you could attack Reckless to get advantage. Uh, actual advantage. Uh, actual advantage. Wait, what? Sure you know no. Oh, no, because it won't cancel like that. just doing a regular attack because yeah. you're disadvantaged. Like right. No, yeah. you will, can't. There was, yeah. So you'll, you'll like, never, never get advantage. I'll never have advantage. You'll never have advantage. Sort of like a... I'll never have advantage. Oh, because even a So you built a character that will always have some sort of... Yeah. Yeah. He will never, ever have advantage. That always has a handicap. That is so unchris like Kind of excited about I that. I call it cock. <laughs> Are you trying to knock your dice over? <laughs> Same number. <laughs> it was meant to be. Is that a critical? Uh, no, it's no. AC it's AC twenty one. That uh, hits. All right. So um, if only someone had made him a nice dice tray. Eleven plus three. four is uh, fifteen bludgeoning. Fifteen bludgeoning. Fifteen bludgeoning. He is bloody. Nice. nice. Again. And then extra attack. Here we go. Uh, AC 15. Uh, that'll miss. Uh, use Bark Inspiration. 17. That'll just hit. <laughs> nice. For another 12. Nice. That that second hammer comes down and all of a sudden his blood starts spewing everywhere. But he's still up. <laughs> Thanks for the inspiration there, Rock. <laughs> Anytime, Rage. Bad, suddenly back, bunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... 
<laughs> yeah, done. 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 Nice. We'll rock. All right. I point to the uh, that guy and say, "You are not looking well. You look like something I drew with my left hand." <laughs> and I cast vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. That's uh, a wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. I love the null fight <laughs> with the two bars. <laughs> 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 Mocking all the gnolls. Oh man. Well, the best times you ever had playing right D&D. <laughs> it was so much fun. 14. <laughs> That's. It was a 17. The tie, the tie is a. Tie, tie means it. Tie means it. So, yeah. makes a save. Does he take anything on that? Uh, if it's a regular spell, it's usually half. No. If it's a cantrip, it's usually safer or not. I can't remember if Vicious Mockery the Cantor ever got. Ooh, it's oh. Yep, nothing happens. Okay. Good. <clears throat> I thought you were left handed. <laughs> too st- uh, you're too stupid to be offended. <laughs> okay. That's valid. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it. Okay. Awesome. So uh, my veteran dude, who's not looking very well, is going to go. Oh, little lady, you were playing so nice. He's gonna pick up his sword and take a swing. Okay. So uh, he has. Um, while raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn has disadvantage on any attack that isn't against you. And when the target hits a creature other than you, the creature has resistance to the damage. So my ancestors come... Uh, His ancestors come. Nice. Come into existence <laughs> around her. Looks like a powder. And try to protect her from this guy. Nice. Okay. Half of the ancestors as well. That is usually oh. how ancestors come into existence. That's <laughs> true. I used that with... Um, Ghostly Barbara, gnomes. Barbara Ann had that. That was great. So it's going to be AC 21. With this advantage. Oh, so I didn't hear the disadvantage part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just say yes. No. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so it was four because of the bane. So it's fourteen. Uh, that will miss. Okay. And second attack. My ancestors protect you. <laughs> it's just the first. It's first attack, right? It's just uh, the first attack. The first creature with disadvantage. Issue. you. Um, Read your character sheet, Chris. On, on any attack that isn't against you. Yeah. It's, any it's attack. That's great. <laughs> okay. AC 12 is less, so okay. he misses you because he's bleeding profusely. The ghostly gnomes protect you. Yay. <laughs> but mostly that he's Thank bleeding you, profusely. Whiff, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So far, I'm loving all these combat tricks. They're really cool. Mm-hmm. Whiff stab. Protect you, protect you. Whiff stab. Whiff stab. You whiff stab. Don't whiff. Uh, As he whiffs. Is he 18? That'll hit. That's pretty good. <laughs> or uh, oh, for a... attack for yeah, the win. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him there. Nice. For a D8. Plus... I can never remember how much my sneak attack is. 46. Okay, one, two... Three, four, four, D8, four, D6. I just flitter in into his blind spot, stab away, cock one dice, and re rolls is a one. Um, six, seven, ten, twelve, eighteen damage. Oh, no, carry. eight, eight, hang on. Fifteen damage. Math. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Little fairy flitters on in, goes. Whoop. Lands his knife right in his neck. It uh, 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 <laughs> falls dead. Yeah. Very dead. Nice. Very dead. All right. Okay. Before the barn burns up completely, I want to quickly loot one of the cultists' corpses. Okay. Sandra's so you, gonna let all the horses out. Sandra's gonna let out all the horses yeah. and. I'm and, gonna help with the horses too. <laughs> And Whip's so. gonna loot the barn. Yep. So. Okay. <laughs> Story time. So as you guys frantically 
let all the wild animals out. <clears throat> Hi, sweetie. <laughs> and loot the barn. <laughs> <laughs> you do find some treasure. Mm, nice. Treasure, cool. Um, you find um, a chest that has what looks like the profits of the last visit to the establishments. Nice. Um, it is 35 gold and 400 silver. So 15 gold and 200 silver. Okay. They're watching you. They know oh, you. Darn. <laughs> <laughs> They've been traveling with you for a long time. So kind of cuts and says, that belongs to the villagers. Uh, yeah, all right. Fence I don't need karate chop some. You bit. also find <laughs> along yeah. along with that a potion of superior healing. Ooh. Nice. And a small leather pouch on one of the cultists that had twenty gold po- coins. Okay. okay. And Let the smart lady divvy that up. The veterans among them also had about twenty gold point gold pieces worth of jewelry. Oh. Okay. So you may divide the jewelry up as you will. If you want the jewelry, or you can just count it as gold pieces. Sell it. Count it as gold. That's easier. Yeah. So 40 total that I would say can be distributed among five people. So that's eight gold per person. Eight gold per person. Okay, we can worry about that on the road. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You also devise, from what you're seeing on the cultists' robes, that the cult, the name of the cult is the um, Burnt Tongue Cult. Mm. Tasty. Burnt Tongue? Yes. Okay. So they probably can't taste anything. <laughs> That's awful. They have... <laughs> well, if... If these robes are any, any indication, they do have pretty bad taste. Can we recover the robes off of the ones who have robes? Is there enough time? You can. Yeah. Okay. Recover the robes. Stack them in. Okay. My, my pack. Sure. I don't think these will fit me. I don't think they And you killed them, so you can't, like, interrogate them or anything. That's all right. We know where we're going. Finn and I could probably wear them. That would be useful. Can I speak with that? <laughs> I don't have that. Number. Kind of on fire. <laughs> no, she holds the bloody robes out toward the They're Kind of on so fire. Kind of all right, so you successfully let all the horses <laughs> out. And the, Yay. The, the, the barn is still burning. <laughs> the bucket brigade. Um, but it doesn't seem like anybody from town notices or cares. Okay. okay. So. It just it's burns like the down. guy pissed everybody off. So yeah, just, so, you know, just walk away and don't look at the explosion. <laughs> walk away. <laughs> Like Mike the drops, cool thing in sunglasses. the movies. <laughs> <laughs> so you manage to kind of just stroll away, and nobody around seems to have noticed what's going on. I mean, his house is a little off the beaten path. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you guys leave the barn. Um, from the barn, where do you guys plan to go? Well, it's uh, the whole morning, so to the tower. We have a trip to the tower, I say. Yeah, right. to the tower. 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 We didn't really. We didn't, how far is the tower from here? Didn't find Do anything you know? particularly informative in the barn because we kind of burned it down, but you know. <laughs> Maybe it totally blew off our meeting with the wino. Eh. Uh, we're in another town now, so. Uh, we had to smash things. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> How far is the tower? Can we see it from where we are? You can. You see that it's up the road or the site of what looks like a pretty crumbly looking used to be a nice tower. Oh, okay, so it's derelict. Yes. It's a, it is an ex nice Everybody tower. in town has told you that it is in crumbles and that this guy is supposedly fixing it up. Okay. Do right, but that, but they, around? But the condition hadn't been changing at all. But they haven't seen any outward changes. No. Right. Okay. Need a scout? So is the work being done by a union? <laughs> they don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you Sorry, who are in unions. the union, we're not talking about you. Oh we my promise. Goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need more God. enemies. <laughs> we need more listeners. <laughs> uh, so we head to the tower. All right. So you guys uh, set off, up, up, off the, off, up the. Oh my God. <laughs> set up, off. No, I can't even say. It. Who let me take the mic tonight? <laughs> you set off up the path. <clears throat> towards the tower site. 
and amid a grove of gnarled scrub trees stands this half-fallen stone tower. Rough workers' tents pile around of pile and piles of timbers and tools are scattered about, and they show that the site appears to be under construction. The little headway seems to have been made in restoring the tower to its former glory. Okay. Do you decide to continue to approach? Yes. Yes, yes. Continue to approach. Do you see any people? As you approach and draw closer, um, you do seem to <laughs> see a very clear... Thank you, darling. Uh, <laughs> that the signs of construction are largely spurious. Kind of just for show. Oh. Um, timbers that might be used to shore up and help rebuild the tower walls are years and years old and beginning to rot. Oh. Uh, tools are rusted and the tents don't really show much of signs that people actually live there. Okay. Interesting. Is there um, any sort of an obvious, um, like, opening? Like, the crumbling archway or something at the base of it? Missing wall. Back entrance. (laughs) Do you want to continue to search the site? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Give me a perception check. Perception. I'm going to be looking around, too. Okay. Anybody who wants to do a perception check. Perception. Eleven. Oh, actually. (laughs) Eleven. Twenty-two. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with yours. Stupid rogue monkeys. <laughs> 22. I got a 21. So. 21. 21, 22, 23. Syndra? Ah, these three are above, above 20. Mm. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> Rage and Syndra seem a bit distracted. <laughs> but the rest of the party notices that... Um, <laughs> Sorry, She's very excited about her fireball. They, they can like see inside Sorry. the tower, <laughs> and there is a stone staircase <laughs> that they can see from afar. Okay. Um, they, it seems that with, with all the years of nobody really questioning what's going on, they, they've kind of not even set up guards protecting what might seem to be lying below. Syndra looks up in and says, uh, perhaps it would be wise for us to don these robes at this point. And we do. So for our part, we look like cultists, and maybe we could fake having them as prisoners if we have to. Okay. Um, I can go into visibility biddle. <laughs> okay. How long does that last? That lasts for an hour. Syndra right. does have uh, greater invisibility, you guys would know this, but it's like her one level four spell slot. Yeah, so unless it's the I, right I, I, time, will the will the robe right. fit me? No. <laughs> <laughs> we only did we get four robes or two? Two. There were only two cultists. Okay. So uh, Finn and cult I followers were the more normal sized people. <laughs> And we got two shorties and a giant. <laughs> well, one on, on, on individual's little shorty mm-hmm. that doesn't need a robe. So. Right. Well, we could put Rage on my shoulders and then put a robe over him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> giant Holocaust doctor! <laughs> Eagle! <laughs> we could just be a master blaster from Mad Max. <laughs> I am the dread pirate. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with his giant hammer? <laughs> Get it off my neck. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so these two are wearing robes. You're invisible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think that Goliath and I just tackle out. Well, no, no, sorry. You just go. <laughs> We're just going to walk in. Wow. <laughs> yes, he said that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we're, we're macho men. Tackle out. Oh. We're hired mercenaries. <laughs> we just, we just fought just off a couple of tripod. <laughs> <laughs> we, we just fought off a couple of mercenaries, right? <laughs> Oh. Shaking my head. Uh. Oh my god! I got distracted by my own thoughts and missed that. Oh, I still so have mini me vibes from your character anyway. It just cracks me up. Mini, mini me memes from my character. All right. 
Uh, we, we, we keep going. Okay, so you keep going. Yeah. Like I said, now, do now, you guys can I didn't, be mercenaries. I didn't make, like, blocking pages, so please just, like, try not to... Look ahead. Medigate. Yeah. Theater of the Minds. Theater of the Mind, but on a grid. You got it? Yep. Mm. Oh. Uh, Ooh, that's nice. So you're going to be entering here from the stone staircase. Okay. You don't need this. Well, I guess if you want to use that, you can. No, no. Well, we don't have enough papers. Papers. Whatever. There we go. That's fine. How are you going to write the notes when it's all the way over? So there? you guys are going to be entering from here. Okay. So choose your marching order. Uh. Um, I would assume the. Uh, oh, sorry. I would assume the. The uh, magician in the back. Cultists would be heading up the party. Uh, uh, so bad, as bad as that sounds. Cinder is good at investigation, but she's so mm-hmm. she's. I beg oh. your pardon. Crunchy, but she's got a lot of hit points actually. Um, Maybe sure. The bard and the magician in the back. I mean, the wizard in the back. Maybe. Wait, I think of one of the cultists head. should be up in the front, so probably you. You would be up in the front, because then it would be like we're kind of controlling the group from the yeah. front and the back. That uh, guy with the uh, electric guitar. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pole arm. Those are rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is Rage. All right, so they're accompanying, we're accompanying them down, down the stairs. Okay, gotcha. All right. So I want you to actually stay to start on the stairs. Start oh. so on the stairs. Okay. Nice. If you can. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Sweet. Okay. Looks like it's on fire too. Yes. Okay. Is, was he intentionally going out front or? Is that okay to put you there, John? She wants us on the stairs. Okay. Is that okay? Unless okay? you want to be out front. Honestly, I have a fly speed, so I could just as easily be above them. Okay, that's fine with me. So as you're coming down the stairs, I would like you all to roll stealth checks for me. Okay. Um, I am invisible. Do I get advantage on that? I think you do. I think you do, yeah. Yes, you would get advantage on your stealth check since you're invisible. Okay. Oh, all right, so... Do you have disadvantage, Brian, for heavy armor? I do. <laughs> oh. I got a 15. Okay. Oh, uh, stealth right. for rage. Sixteen. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna go around you. Fifteen. Seventeen. Uh, Sixteen. Twenty-seven. Fourteen. Okay, so. Rage almost trips and falls down the stairs <laughs> with his very heavy hammer <laughs> thunking thunk, thunk, behind thunk, him. Thunk. But thankfully, Neil Rock notices just in time that he's struggling and manages to catch his hammer before it makes too much noise. Makes a clatter. And y'all manage to sneak down the stairs pretty well. Cool. But as you do come down the stairs... I should have stealth music or something. Like crypt music or something? Yeah, we're like so. jaunting down the street yeah, to the bar. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're jaunting down the oh stairs boy. into the... Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like I might have combat music going on in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, see, I think I have dungeon music in here or something. Sure. Too far away. It's the most in theme thing ever, but pretty much none of Cinder's spells are quiet. I'm so excited to show you guys these minis that I've had, like, waiting. <laughs> Trust, some, Trust some dungeon oh. music. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Well, it's like brain tentacles. Brainy tentacles. Oh, we saw something with that. There was a, or she described the monsters like that in her diary. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. What was the description? Uh, she remind the listeners um, and me. I think she <laughs> saw it in the in Lord Vialis's spell book. Mm. She got a glance of it and she saw yeah, the, the sigil he had on the floor. But in the spell book, she saw this monster that looked like a, a monster with tentacles for legs or something like that in a brain. Mm. So yeah, that's mm. quite brain on tentacles. Yeah. 
Quick possible. Quick possible. <laughs> So, you do pass your stealth checks, but you do notice as you're coming down the stairs that there's clearly guards in this room. Okay. Okay. Uh, they have not noticed us yet? They have so. not noticed you yet. Um, okay. I just not want to say anything. <laughs> I can't like, give it away. <laughs> that would Hand be a nice mind. time to have a... Jane? member of the party that can speak to you <laughs> telepathically, wouldn't right. it? Yeah. <laughs> would be, yes. <laughs> I mean, uh, Sindra can light the room up, but every everyone will come running. <laughs> I can push people with my mind. I can't talk to people with my mind. Mm. Uh, okay, can, so we are, we are hidden from... I can cast illusions. ...from the guards mm-hmm. in the room. You do yeah. seem to notice that they're taking movements. You can't take too long before they're going to start turning around and walking around and checking things out. Yeah. Okay. Um, these look... Do these look like the... Are they wearing like the cultist robes? Yes. They are, okay. Okay. Um, so they are cultists. You likely can't see those tentacly things in the corners. You guys yet. have sure. a very sure, sure. brief window to figure something out before Syndra does something not subtle at all. Okay. Okay. Rage, I, I Rage is about to as well. <laughs> Let me. Let, I, I need to read a spell description. Okay. So. Well, while he's doing that, <clears throat> she's prepping fireball. <laughs> the stairs descend 30 feet before opening up to a chamber of worked stone. Two braziers flank the entrance, burning an unnatural aquamarine light. Okay. Pillars stand in two rows, each carved with the visages of otherworldly creatures. A fountain flows quietly at the far end of the room in front of a double door. Another door stands along the west wall, and the wall opposite that appears to have collapsed, revealing a rough passageway beyond. Okay. So this door is there, and that door has collapsed the wall. Yep, the east door, west door, south is the... Where the fountain is. Fountain is. Okay, and one okay. of those is collapsed? This one. Okay. So. I can attempt something. It would be very whiff-like to attempt this, <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> take and, um, you know, steal the show here if somebody else has something else I want to try. Go for uh, it. Go for it, John. It's up to you and your party. Go for it. But you have about... Ten more okay. seconds before Since they start I'm, moving around. Okay. Since I am still hidden, um, I'm just going to have to find a spot real quick that to keep myself hidden because I'm going to have to drop my illusion and I will simply and I will cast minor illusion. Okay. To make the sound of uh, make a sound come from this tunnel. Uh, just a just a um, hey. Give us a hand down here. Okay. <laughs> Make um, it sound like a person saying that. Now, Syndra, if they, if they spite us, she's got a fireball ready. She's going to light the room up if they turn around and actually see us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Minor illusion lets me create a, create a sound within 30 feet of me, um, of basically a, a, whatever I want it to, sit, to sound like, as long as it's short. All right, so with that, you hear a voice coming from that hallway. It says, hey, did you guys say something? <laughs> There's somebody in the hallway. And these guys go, that wasn't us, Bo. Did you say something? Uh, well, at least I uncovered somebody in the hallway. <laughs> True, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, there must be something funny going on around here. And you hear footsteps as he takes off down those stairs. Roll for initiative. I don't even get an okay. initiative. Oh, well. <laughs> initiative! Oh, and I will give you a surprise level. round. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh, that's good. Or right, there, or, yeah, whatever. Since she did ready the fireball. Oh, really? Okay. Again? That dice hates me. I'm glad I got the surprise round. That's a horrible initiative, too. <laughs> Mine is a good one for once. I like this one. This one rolls okay. I'm not invisible anymore because I cast a spell. That's true. Where, where did my non? Where did non-invisible me go? Right behind your two okay. twos and it's fired. Where did 
Yeah. All right. Movie. <laughs> so initiative. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep looking at the board for your names. <laughs> Finn. 19. 19. Right, Syndra? Uh, four. <laughs> it's been oh, too much time okay. preparing that fireball. <laughs> too much time preparing the fireball, man. Uh, she was too distracted. Oh, well, she's the fire, bottom by the top fire, of the fire, ocean fire. of water with her, with her surprise round. <laughs> Mill Rock? Uh, 16. Okay, 16. Whiff. Seven. Oh. Seven. Yes, that's a whiff. <laughs> Rage. Twelve. All right. All right. Well, I will let you guys talk amongst yourselves as to what you're going to do while I get this put together. Smash. <laughs> Greg's going to punch and kick and knee punch and elbow. And kick things. I can this cover spray my, them. My breath of dragon. <laughs> Pepper spray. What was the area? Color spray. Uh, oh. Twenty feet right. cone or thirty feet in the line, as five feet wide. Okay. So it's like a narrow, which that could work. It would kind of depend on whether you go before them or not. Yeah. Um, you could probably do like either like a twenty foot cone here or a cone there, mm-hmm. depending on if you get to go or not. I wish I had less chest. <clears throat> <laughs> Don't hear that very often. No, especially for... Just I have to push in every time. And... Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> try having my belly. Put, like, or your like chest. Like, Tostitos in front of you. So you <laughs> the chest doesn't really get in the way of the <laughs> table. <laughs> <laughs> Belly. Oh, you're over. Oops, sorry. What a brat. Oh, jerk. Such a brat. <laughs> All right. It's so abusive. So the initiative order is going to be Finn, Neil Rock, Growls, Rage, Cultists, Whiff, and Syndra. Ooh, I get to go first. Yay. All righty. All righty then. Although Syndra gets the surprise round first. And Syndra does get that, that okay, surprise yeah, I don't round know how first. that works really well. So, yeah. By Rob, surprise is a condition that a person gets. We just follow a normal order, or normal order, but they can't do anything for the first round. Anybody that has surprise. But, or we can go with what DM says and just says, you get to throw a fireball. Well, if nobody gets to do anything for the first round except for the person that has surprise, that would be that no, she gets... No, surprise means you are surprised. You don't get to do anything. Oh. I said that's by Raw, but we've been playing this fast and loose for so long anyway. Who cares? I mean, she had readied it to do it if they right. went on the alert anyway, so it, yeah. even if it's... True. Happens, if, are we, she just throws the fireball. Yeah, so just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah I was just going to say that she throws the fireball. Like the yeah. I wasn't going to say anything, yeah. but she asked the she question. She drops the fireball so. into the room far enough to not... Uh, I mean, it doesn't even matter. She can make it miss the party anyway, so... Yeah. yeah. Um, but... She can get the all fire- of them. Uh, not without clipping where's, them. Where's the and foot? she will spell shape it so it doesn't do anything to them. Okay. To, um, like yeah. Marble. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So you'll be able to hit everything. Yeah. I mean, I, even if I dropped it there, it would fireball has a yeah. Fireball has a four square side. Yeah. Oh, to so. actually get everything? Yes. Yeah, she would drop it so it would clip them and just spell shape it to miss. So, yeah, that's fine. That's what spell she shape seems pretty open. That seems broken. It, that's exactly can you actually read yeah, how that works? I can absolutely do that. That is the whole point of the school of magic that she took. Okay. Uh, so it is... <laughs> sculpt spells. When you cast an evocation spell like Fireball that affects the other creatures you can see, you can choose a number of them equal to one plus the spells level, so up to four. The chosen creatures automatically succeed on their saving throws against the spell, and they take no damage if they would normally take half damage on a successful sp- save. Okay. So yeah. we still have to roll. Uh, you won't take damage. No, it says it's automatic it, it, you automatically succeed. You automatically succeed, succeed, succeed and, you no and you take no damage. Oh, okay. okay. It's a weird way yeah. of phrasing it, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. All right. So they will need to make a what saving throw? Dex? Uh, Dex. Dex. Yeah. And it's hitting both the well, cultists and the girls? Uh, yes. It's hitting I'm, everything. 
I take it as a balance that you can only do that like so many times per day or something like that? When you cast an evocation spell. I've, I, I've had that yeah. I've had that same wizard bell before. Mm-hmm. You can just always exclude your friends from the spell. Oh, okay. Drop fireballs everywhere. She doesn't get a lot of the other bells and whistles that other schools get because that's mm-hmm. like the big crazy feature. Right. Out of, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. But it's so got to be evocation spells. So yeah. if it's not, then. This is cultist A if somebody wants to mark it. Hey. 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 Which is A? This one? Oh, whichever one you guys want to mark A. Okay, that's A. A is 16. A B right there. Uh, 16? Uh, that will succeed. Cool. So, sorry, that was a 15. Okay, uh, that matches mine. So that still succeeds. succeeds. Yeah. Okay, cultist B is also a 15. Uh, succeeds. Cultist C is a 19. Succeeds. Cultist D is a 17. Succeeds. Oh, I need an E and an F. Grell E. Nat 20. Is that this? Succeeds. Yes. And Grell F is a 17. Succeeds. Boo. Right, wow. So everybody succeeds. Wow. Boo. That's that's <laughs> happenstance. That's happenstance. <laughs> Still surprised, you know. It's a bonus early. damage. Yeah, it's exactly. Bonus damage I'm down with it, good. man. Yeah. It's still a lot of d6s. It is. So six. Ten. Trust me, you'll be All happy right. with the results on these on these cultists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So. Uh, <laughs> 24 damage or 12 on a success. So 12 on a success. Mm-hmm. All four cultists go burning. Wow. They're done? Yep. Oh, shit. Ooh, they these, were, these were crunchy ones. All four Oops. cultists blow up in a puff of smoke. <laughs> That's also the second of my three level three spell slots. Yeah. So. <laughs> and the growls are definitely still up. Okay. That's all right. So uh, she, she, Syndra lets yeah. out a surprise fireball and melds it to make sure her friends are safe. And all four cultists go, whoa. And they go, <laughs> ashes. All you, see, you don't even see clothes left behind. Wow. They burn yes. so bad. Leave something to loot. <laughs> Syndra shrugs. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right. So now we go to the regular round. Finn, you're up. All right, so I am going to... You see these tentacly, brainy, beaked things just hovering in the corner as you come into the room. Those are the first minis you ever ordered, right? Those are my first minis ever ordered. Tentacle brains. Tentacle brains. (laughs) So excited. (laughs) When they came in, I was like, I immediately sent pictures Uh, to Chris. (laughs) You're like, excellent. Are you moving over here, Greg? I have people. (laughs) So that, that didn't work. So attack number one was not successful. They even came with like the your glass broken. The the collector's cards with like the stats from three point five and like that's better. Uh, (laughs) So that is a twenty two. Right. Twenty two. Oh, it's fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I I saw three. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. I can. It was an AC twenty two. Yes. That'll hit. Okay. <laughs> Just a bit. Hits a growl. Little hits. bits. Little Five bit. bit. <laughs> I'm going to use Breath of the Dragon because I can use that. Oh, oh, is that it when you hit? Yes. Nice. As a bone item? Oh, okay. Uh, so, let's see the 30 feet in a five foot wide line or 20 foot cone. You're actually replacing one of your attacks with yeah, that though. Yeah, so I used it instead of, the other one I failed, so this one I'm using, I'm using the breath. What? Weapon. You don't have to hit with the attack. You replace it entirely. Oh. So you hit with this one, so you should do the damage on that, and okay. then if you do another attack, you could choose to well, replace it with that. Right, but, Got it. but this is a second attack, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. So unless you spend a key point to get for your blows, you won't be able to use it have another attack to replace with the breath weapon. Got it. So you've already claimed that you're attacking, not using a breath weapon. Well, yeah. So I'll, do, I'll just do that. Right? Yeah, his, his intention apparently was to try to use the breath weapon, but he, he didn't just, know how it he worked. He thought he had to roll to hit. He thought oh, he had to roll to yeah. hit first. Okay, so... 
walk it back? Would you allow him to just not? Yeah, if you want to walk it back, you can. Okay. So, so you don't have to roll an AC if you want to use your breath weapon. Correct. Yep. Well, what I will do is I will do the attack, and then I will spend a key point. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then I'll place one of those attacks? Okay, yeah. There you okay. go. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be s- seven. Seven okay. damage? Yep. Okay. okay. On which one? On F. F. I can't see them, so okay. The little, it, it, that's not going to go any further down. The, it's fine. I okay. trust you guys. Okay. The <laughs> little brain with the spider legs. Seven, seven points. Seven points. Oh. So, additional attack <laughs> with the key point. You get pictures of the grills. Like a squid brain. I did. Okay. <laughs> but without the body of the squid. Check. It's like a squid beak. Okay, so. Gross. It's 13 to hit. That will hit. And that's going to be for eight. Um, okay. He's still up. Okay, and I'm going to replace this attack, which is my last attack, with the Breath of Dragon. So they probably have some kind of a saving throw versus your breath weapon? Yes. Uh, so it's a DC 13. What kind? Is it dex? Dex. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stick to my pink dice. The nice thing right now. And it's gonna Although be fire Although I think fire I rolled damage. it all out. Oh wow. <laughs> it's cool. That you okay, can so what it does. Its save is five. <laughs> I don't think it fails. Right? So fire are, you, are you hitting both of them? Uh, no, just no, the one. Can't. Just the one. Okay. Yeah, you can't so. get behind it. So how much? You, you could do a line if, if there was space open, but there is so. damage. That'd be super cool. So it's ten. Okay, it is bloody. All right, Boy. nice. You start to see a, like a nosebleed come out of its beaky thing. <laughs> beak leak. Beak leak. It's All got right. beak leak. It's getting an end. So cool, thank you. <laughs> so that is my turn. Of okay. the cross. Yeah. Great. Great. Right. That is Finn. So he'll rock you up. He he growled it. Rolled right. it. Rolled uh, that growl. <laughs> Crispy. Crispy. <laughs> I'm gonna move me forward. Is it one, two, three, <laughs> four spaces? You have one job. <laughs> Straight forward. Put the yep. freaking invisible thing away. That's all you Careful, it can be tricky to get four. them to yeah, fly. There. Yeah. yeah, right there. I mean, they're pretty cheap. You can probably print those from that fire. Whoa. Not, couldn't get them back. You look hideous. Yeah. You look like something in a shot out of life after a night of ale. <laughs> vicious mockery. That was vicious mockery. Vicious mockery. Uh, <laughs> is it wisdom cool. saving throw? Uh, yes. Okay. Fifteen. Damn it. Aww. I stand by my... my... It, it's, <laughs> it floats there and just waves its <clears throat> tentacles at you. <laughs> <laughs> There's some really great bard jokes in the darkness rising. Right? Really watch it. <laughs> I don't think they talk. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Angry bird noises. Oh. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Sorry, gets to attack with her first ever minis. <laughs> <laughs> Do something cool. Couple of things. Yeah, this Okay. Seem to be doing it. Right. Alright. Alright, so. Well, E. Is gonna move up to Neil Rock, yep. and first it's gonna strike out at you with its tentacle. Nice. Three hugs. <laughs> Not three hugs. AC fifteen. That will be a miss. Okay. So it misses with its tentacle, and then it's going to attempt to peck you with its beak. 
It has multi-attack. For AC 17. That is a miss. Yeah. Right. Quite, quite beefy. He's a beefy bard. Screams out in frustration. <laughs> and uh, Grill F is going to come at you, Finn, because you've already damaged him quite a lot. Okay. <laughs> and he Good is job, also going to strike out at you with his tentacle. <laughs> AC 17. That will hit. For <laughs> little babies chiming in. <laughs> Eight piercing damage. Ooh. Give me a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It does. That is. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. How much was the damage? No, wait, no, never mind. I'm not raging. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Keep on. Uh, let's see. Constitution. Got to remember. All those fancy things Seven. Really okay. So you are poisoned for one minute. That's not a saving throw. These are up here. Oh. oh. It's still. Yeah, yeah it's still two. Yeah. Still yeah. seven. Okay, so you're poisoned and uh, poisoned for one minute. The poison target is paralyzed. Oh, oh dear. Oh. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Okay. Ending the effect on a success. Okay. You're also grappled. Okay. So it wraps its tentacle around you, injecting you with a paralyzing poison. You're grappled. I'm grappled. It, and the Grell has advantage on attack rolls against you. But it can't use this attack against other targets while it has you. It ties up the tentacle. Right, and it's going to drag you with it if it tries to move. Right, right. right, so now that it has you grappled, it's also going to use its peak attack on you. Greg, you have two rings on you. Oh. You're paralyzed and grappled. Oh, boy. So it now has advantage on the beak attack, right? Correct. The beak attack will be AC 14, which I think it's going to miss. Miss. Yeah. Ooh, good job. So it's so excited that it got its tentacle wrapped around you. <laughs> Don't get too excited now. Very excited. <laughs> You got a tentacle away from me, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the growls. Uh, Rage, you're up. Okay. I can't believe my cultist didn't even get to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they get for being so jumpy. <laughs> Well, if it makes you feel any better, she had to burn the last of her big tail spots to do that. Yeah, second Some last. Of it. Yeah, Maybe. I've got one more level three left. I will level four. Rage is going so to move into the that. flank. Wisely, I think. With uh, Narok. Nice. Huh. Um, and attack with a regular attack. <laughs> As always. <laughs> uh, regular attack. This is plus five. I'm so excited that my growl finally got to come out. Uh, AC 16 on the growl. That will hit. That will hit. That is for uh, uh, seven damage. Nice. And that's growl E. That is growl E for seven okay. bludgeoning. Big And then I'll do one more attack. Ah. Oh. Uh, AC 24. That'll definitely hit. <laughs> for nine more bludgeoning. Nine more. Nine. Right. So Rage comes up and swipe, swipe with his big old hammer, get, manages to knock a couple of dents and a couple of tentacles, screams in pain. Uh, let's see. I was thinking I wasn't going to rage, <laughs> so I didn't rage, but... Yeah, I'll stay. Okay. Good. Cool. That's your turn. That's my turn. All right, Whiff, you're up. Whiff. Okay. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. Okay, I'm just gonna pop over there, which I can do because I'm just gonna fly right over everybody. <laughs> um, and. By the way, the ceilings are only ten feet. Okay. Well, ten but, feet. I okay. mean, you can still do that. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah. Ten feet high. That's good to know. Just letting you know. Yep. It is good it's to know. It's not a tall temple. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It's not a tall temple. <laughs> <laughs> um, and since this thing's getting all tentacly, I'm just gonna rapier it. 
Hey all. Hey. Is sneak. it gonna rapier you, or are you gonna rapier it? And I'm going to, <laughs> and I'm going to rapier it sneakily. Oh. oh. So, well, actually, I have to wait till I know if I hit or not before I can know if it's gonna be a sneak attack or not. Let's see. AC 18 is probably gonna be a hit. So, yep. right, we'll go ahead and add the sneak. Ooh, look at that. Uh, 6, 12, 14, 17, 23 total damage. So you take um, out your rapier and you, whoop, 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 you manage to chop all its legs off and it falls down and you stab it right through the brain. Ah. Right. Dead oh, is it girl. Oh, yeah. Dead girl. You're, Dead still girl. Par- you're still paralyzed, but you're no longer grappled. You're no longer grappled, but you are still paralyzed. Yes. Because it's less your restoration. <laughs> I have to remember this. This is kind of. Important. He can still save out of it. <laughs> oh, you have evasion? Yep. Nice. That's very important. And evasion awesome. is good. It's sweet. Okay. Fall. Is that your end? That is my end. Cinder, you're up. <laughs> that is your okay. end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a grill right there, huh? What should I do with that? There is one grill left on the board. He is not bloody yet. Actually, Yes, he is. He is bloody. Ha! Rage bloodied him. Nice. He did break a bunch of his tentacles. <laughs> are, are the braziers difficult terrain, or are people standing in them on fire? That's just the light that they're giving off okay. right now. <laughs> they're right next. The, the braziers themselves are just right next to it. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be so funny. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're on fire. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're on magical fire. <laughs> you're, t- you're taking 10d5 fire damage. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage yes. Kate to run another battle royale, and there are braziers on fire that we can push people into in that one. Nice. Let's see here. What is it? How many darts? Uh, she's going to reach a hand out and kind of flick her fingers out, and three magical darts are going to fly at that guy. Okay. I'm assuming that that's magic missile. It is level one. Okay. Magic missile. I can't fight against that. Pew, so. pew, pew. The damage. <laughs> damage. Ten damage, according to her. Yep. <laughs> Which is three d four plus three, right? There's one Correct. Yes. Yep. Just roll a d four and then add one for each roll that you roll. Funky d four. This is why I set out all my dice in like groups of what type of dice they are. Especially because D4s are hard to pick up. Because <laughs> D4s are really hard to pick up. <laughs> oh, one. You know, they're even harder when you use the miniature versions of them. Okay. Yes. Uh, why'd you roll a D8? This is actually a D4. It's, but it's got eight sides. It does, but there, there's a four and a four. So as it turns out, when it lands this way, it says four and four. Interesting. <laughs> Just give me the damage. <laughs> Seven, eight, eleven. Oh, oh, Just give me the damage. Damn damage. Still up. No, no. Just give me the damage. <laughs> Is John taking his turn? He's <laughs> taking forever. I was the one who. Someone gave me a hard time you. my dice. It's, it wasn't a comment against you. It's that he is distracting you. I know. Uh, what distract is with you and distracting people. people when they're trying to count their damage on a magic missile? Uh, I, <laughs> I am the least distracting person at this distracting. <laughs> that is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the least distracting person. That is accurate. <laughs> All right. Maybe she's, only second to him. She's done. Because <laughs> so Brian is very quiet <laughs> most of the time. We're back to the monkey monk. Mm. Oh, me? Oh, yes. Fit, fit. Are okay. you running my board now? No. Are, are you running my board? Are you running my board? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Get to my head. <laughs> are you running my board? <laughs> You're still paralyzed, Greg. Oh, I'm going to roll a coach McCall. See yeah. if you can end save out. Turn, I think. Oh, yeah, it's at the end of your turn. It's the end of your turn, uh, of your turn that you try to save out of it. But when you're paralyzed, you don't can't do anything yeah. anyway. Right. Yeah. Well, All right, roll your save. You have to make your save. 
Come on, buddy. Snap out of it. Plus. Is it a constitution? Yeah. 12. You shake it off. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Here we go. Right. The bard doesn't 11. have to burn a spell slot. Woo. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm just going to. DC something. To DC something. You turn around and. No one was listening. Take a swing at the uh, brain there. Neil Rock. Pink brain in and Rock the brain. it out. With it, favor that show. One is a genius. The other's insane. That's a 16 to hit. That'll hit. For five. Okay. You're attacking with like an axe with a blade on it? Sorry, uh, no, uh, a guitar with a blade on it? No, it's a, <laughs> no. It's a hammer. Oh, the hammer, sorry. <laughs> more, he more he doesn't have a guitar. He has a bagpipe. He's Brian. He, he, he owns on, guitars. I just think of like a guitar. A blade on one yeah. of the bagpipes. He's a <laughs> Scottish <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, don't you look at people's profiles? With an electric guitar with a blade on one side. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you usually do. You should have your bagpipes uh, be blowguns, too. The that would be super fun. Throwers. You can have, like, flame uh, oh, yeah, flamethrowers, yeah. Flamethrowing yeah. yeah. bagpipes, You yes. can install those into you the pipes. to find them, But let, let Brian take his turn. <laughs> I'll let that. Are you guys done being doing stupid things? <laughs> I have more, but you go ahead. <laughs> 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 that, that was my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, my one lonely growl. Uh, well, <laughs> Rage did some pretty bad damage to this guy, so he's going to turn around and at you with his tentacle. All right, man. Mm, AC 13, I don't think he's going to do it. So he'll kinky. follow it up with his beak. AC 15. Hit. And that is not a D10. <laughs> uh, ah. Ooh, good damage at least. Uh, nine piercing damage with his beak. Got so it. He does manage to sink his beak into you. Okay. Con save? Uh, no con save on that. Oh, that was that the beak. The beak does not emit poison. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Lucky the tentacles <laughs> missed. You're lucky the tentacle missed. Yes. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the growl. Rage, your response. All right. I heave my hammer off the floor. Heave. <laughs> oh. oh. AC 12. Oh, that hits. Oh, it does. All right. They're squishy. Literally, the brains. Uh, nine damage. Okay, he's super bloody, but he's still up. Another attack. AC higher. That'll hit. For 11. 11. He's very dead. Yay! <laughs> Hammer flies through the air and pins the brain to the ground, and it goes... Yeah. Gross. Rains everywhere. Gross. Please wait till I move out of the way. <laughs> oh, I just bought these pants. <laughs> All right, and with that, I believe we are going to end the session for the night. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the temple. <laughs> <laughs> that was really awesome, Sarah. Yeah, thank, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The girls were fun. Hey, fights. Two fights in one night. Woo! <laughs> we are now in the temple of the burnt tongue. Nice, nice. And we will see what happens next time. <laughs> Say goodnight to our listeners. Good night. Good night. Good night. We love you. <laughs> If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a review anywhere this podcast can be found. Our social media links, plus additional content, can be found on our website at knightsofroleplay.com. Please tell your friends about Knights of Roleplay, an adventuring podcast, and spread the word through social media. Your help and support are greatly appreciated.